What's going on everybody? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. You know what Wednesday is. I always do this set that's previously released on Wednesdays as course. You know, and today we got the Regi Drago boxes. All right, we got we got we got five of them. We got what not one, not two, not three, you know, five, you know, LeBron James kind of style going on here. Anyways, we got five of them, you know. Uh we're we're seeing which ones are better. Is the Regi Drago or the Regi Licky? I did the Regi Lickies last Wednesday, so go check that one out after you check this one out. Tell me which ones have the better hits. Honestly, I can't quite remember. It's been a week ago, so brains already gone, man. Anyway, I only have like 88 cards more left to complete the set only yeah i know 230 cards in the set 88 to go i'm not even close but we got two of the gold cards we got two of the harder cards to pull we got the pikachu already we're getting there it's gonna be fun anyway if i could if you could please leave a like and subscribe i'd really really appreciate it if you did hit that notification bell on so you can come back on a friday when i open up some uh team up tens yes right those team up tens right there they're gonna get opened up right there i'm gonna open up all three of them on friday so come and check that out on friday video will be be uh dropped at one o'clock all my videos are usually dropped at one o'clock anyway let's get this opening started shall we let's see if we can get some new hits i'm hoping we get some gold especially the gear team that's what i'm going for let's go get it all right everyone here we go we are back on it we're on the Crown Zenith train, and yes, uh, I will be doing some more Crown Zenith. I have Crown Zenith next Wednesday, and the Wednesday after that, I have a couple ideas. A couple, you know, one uh, I will almost guarantee you next week will be a booster box. Almost guarantee I'll do 36 packs of uh, Crown Zeniths, which will be fun. You know, I'm excited to do some Crown Zenith. I'll have them all pulled out and everything like that, not in their collection boxes and whatnot. I use, I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Probably, um, honestly, uh, the collection boxes are the cheaper of the, you know, than the ETB. Uh, hold on a minute here. I'll show you guys a nice little Reggie Drag. It's not little. It's the Reggie Drago Jumbo card. Reggie Draco V. Not bad. Not bad. Discard top three cards your deck. And feel those energy stash to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Anyways, then we got the Reggie Licky. Look at that nice, beautiful Reggie Licky. That Reggie Licky is actually quite playable. A lot of decks use it. And for some reason, you know, in a lot of certain cases, nice little snipage against, uh, Lost box and all that good stuff. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're not here for the promos. We are here for the Crown Zenith packs. All right, everybody, I'm missing 88 cards. That's it. 88 cards out of 230. So it's not terrible. Not a terrible range, but it still feels like it's a long ways to go. A lot of stuff to you know to get hit. You know, I mean, absolutely awesome. You know, I know I posted a, I shared a, uh, shared a short the other, you know last on the week on the weekend. You know, me and the girlfriend. You know, I felt like. Yeah, I'll give her a little bit of spotlight. It was kind of awkward. We were uh, trying to figure out how to do it, you know, in, at home at her house. Because it's not, you know, my place and her place different. And we got ourselves up. Oh, a nice little arena right away. That's what I'm talking about right there. Absolutely amazing. And, oh, Zamazenta. All right, all right. Hold on a minute here. We got double hits right away. First pack magic. All right. First pack magic. What's going on, Irita? Um, I'm not 100% sure on this card. I know the price has kind of dropped a little bit, but I do believe it's at least $25 to $30 card. It's absolutely playable all the way. It's one of the higher cards for water decks. And, of course, it's absolutely amazing. Look at all those characters on it. That is amazing. What's up? What's up, Irita? Oh, man. This is already... I don't, I don't remember what was in the uh, Reggie Leaky box, to be honest with you. But I can tell you, like... That's already good. That's that's already there. That card already paid for this box right here that I got. <laughs> this $20 box. That card already paid for it. Anyways, well, I was trying to get up before I got some nice hits. All right. Um, it's actually cheaper to buy the collection boxes. You get four packs for $20, which just makes it a $5. Um, unless you actually seriously want the promo. And, well, Corona. Um, if you get the ETB, the ETBs, if you get them at, like, Walmart, Target, and all that stuff, are 55 and you get 10 packs. So you're paying an extra $5 for the junk inside, is what I could call it. So you could be, that extra $5 could be an extra pack if you wanted to be that in that direction and that idea. So in reality, it's actually cheaper to get the collection boxes than it is the ETBs. I mean, honestly, I love, I need the ETBs because I have a lot of bulk and it's really, those are the best things to put bulk in is ETBs. And it keeps me organized in some ways. Anyway, La Vesta. Okay, take a look. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. And up. Uh, okay, me too. All right. I see something back here, though. It's a... Oh, a nice little Friends of Sinnoh. All right. All right. Friends of Sinnoh. This card is going for about $15 right now. It'll probably stick around there, honestly. I mean, it's not very playable, but it's definitely... Uh, 
it has all the characters on it and uh it's, it's amazing it's sino it's absolutely just amazing you got cynthia up there uh, i think that's cynthia yeah my i believe that's my ash or someone maybe it's ash i don't know wearing a weird hat Be, uh, i don't know who that kid is but anyway yeah i don't watch the game i don't watch the show that too much but yeah it's got a lot of characters on it it'll probably stay at the 15 dollars range that's what's up right there we already got what thirty dollars you know plus another 15 45 46 dollars up there and honestly, that, that reverse hollow Mewtwo is worth 50 cents. Um, well, I'm sad that this one's cut really badly, but it's the back card. It's not the uh, reverse hollow slot. So that's that's the important part. That's the important slot. Unless it's a Pikachu, then it'd be sad. All right, here we go. We got Aram. We got Riolu. Okay, Starly. Scytha. Emolga. cha cha And Taurus. Just a Taurus. All right, everybody. We don't have to worry about damage cards. We don't have to worry about damage cards. It's just a Taurus. It's okay. Anyways. So yeah, if you were wanting to open up a good amount of this stuff, the collection boxes are, would be the cheapest right now. Um, your biggest bang for your dollar when this stuff comes out will be the mini tins. You get two of them for eight ninety nine, so that makes them less than five dollars a piece. That is your, that will be the go to for um, you know price value on your, uh, you know your product. If you you know if you're just looking for the packs, you don't really care about the promos or anything like that. That is where it will be at. So, anyways, I kind of sort of rhymed right there. I didn't mean to. Anyway, there is the code for somebody to get the Reggie Drago and Reggie Licky. I believe you get both of them when you uh, type in the code. I really need to do more of my codes. I really do want to do uh, videos on TCG Player. I just don't know how everybody will uh, react to it. Right now, my channel is actually growing really, really well the last couple weeks. I'm actually really excited about it. It really makes me happy seeing all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that have subscribed. If you haven't already, please do. You know, it's... It really helped me out. I really, really, really appreciate it. I want to have more fun, do more crazy things, not just do, you know, sword and shield. Boring. You know, I most of my sword and shield sets are basically mastered or really, really close to it, to a point where it's not really worth me opening it up anymore. And so, Saita! And that's not what we want. Heliolisk. All right, got a nice little reverse Pokeball, though. I'll take that. I don't think I have that yet, so. The reverses are also hits when you don't have them. Especially if you're a collector like me that likes to collect the whole master sets because I'm kind of crazy like that. And I usually will open 90% of it and then after I get to like 10% left, that's when I start buying them or I'll start trading for them and stuff like that. So um, at, at some point, it doesn't make sense to open stuff, you know, unless it's unless it's Evolving Skies. Even Evolving Skies, if you're buying a boost box, it doesn't make sense to really open it. Hey, we got a nice little Dunn Sparse. I will take the Dunn Sparse. Absolutely. And uh, oh, Reggie... Reggie Gigas V, another two pack, uh, double banger on win one pack. I'll take that. The Reggie Gigas is not worth too much. The Dunsparce might be worth like two dollars. I don't know. It is playable. People do use it in some decks. Uh, Lugia sometimes runs it, stuff like that. So it is playable, especially for running colorless Pokemon. It makes so your colorless Pokemon have no weaknesses, which is a big deal. Especially like if you're trying to take down one of the best decks, what is the first thing you're gonna look at? It's weakness. What can I do that's going to double smack it and knock it out for the cheapest Pokemon? So usually like a basic, that's like one prizer. What well, one prizer can knock out that Pokemon with weakness? And I'm going to try and slip that in there somewhere. That's kind of how you got to look at things. Anyways, we got Yenma, Pontiard, Bidoof, Potion, got Mr. Mine, Bidoof, and Volcarona. Okay, Volcarona. Cool, cool, cool. Next, last pack of this box. This box wasn't nearly as good as the first one, but that's okay. That's all right. We did get a new card. We got that. Get that Rita. I do not. That nope, Dunsparce is not a new card. I'm pretty sure I pulled it on here. I was telling you guys how it has three Dunsparce on it. Kind of weird how they kind of look like they're just kind of like either stuffed animals or they're just slugs. I don't know. I can't tell you. Anyways, we got ourselves a Rescue Carrier. Coughing Oddish. Okay, cool. Energy Search. Grubbin, uh, Revert, Energy Retrieval, and a Caesar. So that box was not worth the, the $20, but I guarantee you we are still above it. So that's the positive thing. I mean, honestly, um, when it comes to Crown Zenith, like, uh, it has so many nice viable cards in it that you can almost get your money back every time you open it up. Even with the card prices that have dropped significantly with the pre-release, you can still get your money back because um, there are a lot of cards that are worth money. So that's a really huge positive thing here. Let me put that little that guy up there, you know, and just put him up there, you know, out of the way. Anyways, here is your guys' codes. There's the code. I like how it codes out that way, so I don't have to take it out for you guys. Very, very nice. Won't get yelled at for dropping my promos. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Four more crowns. Okay. 
got this and two more left to go. We're doing great. We're doing great. Honestly, I can't complain. I love this set. It's fun to open up. The problem is, I feel like... I don't want to say it's a hidden... It, it's Hidden Fates 2. Point, it's Hidden Fates for Sword and Shield. That's what it is. It's Hidden Fates for Sword and Shield. Uh, Shiny Fates was a really dud. It all has Charizard in it. Even the Charizard's not worth much. Uh, Champion's Path was... And it's okay. It wasn't... If it didn't have Charizard on it, Charizard in it, no one would buy it. So, anyway. Shinx. Larvesta. Oddish. Oh, we got this little reverse fire energy. I will take it. I will take it. No fire decks out there right now that are good, but you never know. And Luxray. So, I will always take reverse energies. I do love putting reverse energies in my decks. And I like to have multiple decks. I mean, multiples. <laughs> Speaking of multiple decks, I might have mentioned it on my Monday one, but if you didn't see my Monday video, go check that one out as well. Um... I did, I did scrap and make a whole deck by myself. I haven't played too much TCG competitively like I have, but I haven't I haven't been doing it for over I haven't even done it for a year. I probably started last June, honestly, playing competitively for TCG. I did like um like build and battle pre-release stuff, but actual deck building. Oh, nice little hop though. Okay, all right. I needed that hop. I'm pretty sure I have the reverse hollow. I just needed that one. Anyway, um. So anyways, I made the whole deck by myself. You know, I just kind of some ideas I kind of had, scrapped it all together, and uh, I won, the, won my local tournament. Won my local tournament. I uh, went 3-1. One reason why I really lost that first round, I lost first round. It's because I went against the one guy I showed that what I was running. So he already kind of was prepared for it in a way. So yeah, it was it was a rough situation. Not fair. Whalemer, hop, and ooh, an isolation V-Star. All right, all right. Zacian V-Star, very, very cool. I like Zacian. He's one of my favorites. He is definitely one of my favorites. I definitely enjoy running Zacian. It was always one of my favorite decks. was the very first deck I built to relearn how to play the game. At least I had, at least from memory. I had a memory of how to play the game, but it was the very first deck I actually built to actually learn how to play. And that's where I'm at Zaya. And I don't think anybody really... If you're in the Pokemon community, you might know Zaya. Zaya is, uh, man, he's one of the best Pokemon players out there, you know, um, won Orlando last year for regionals, uh, he's definitely well known in the Pokemon community, especially in the competitive range, and, uh, and, uh, whew, that was a really, really rough box, all we got was that Zacian, that was it for Ultra Rares, very, very rough box, unacceptable, we gotta get $100 here, guys, $100, there's five boxes here, $100, we're not, even, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, probably yet, you know, yeah, I'd say 50 maybe. I don't know how much that Zacian V-Star is. I think it's like a $5 card. Um, it has some playability. I know there is, so, there is a deck out there that has it in there. I've seen it on Twitter. So if you don't have, if you don't have me on Twitter, you know, follow me on Twitter. You know, I really appreciate it. You guys like um, shared out my videos, help support the channel in that kind of way. That really, really appreciate it. Um, also, in that, and with me saying that, I'm going to show you guys this promo. If you guys do follow me or whatever you do on Twitter... If you guys do share my video, which I would appreciate, tag me in. Tag me that you tag me in, a, in my shared video, and if you do, I'll give you ten free code cards. I've done this promotion before, you know, but <clears throat> yeah, some people I've had a couple people message me and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, I will still give you two ten free codes. I I have a good stack of codes over there from Silver Tempest. I have some Crown Zenith, um, stuff like that. I have like four ETBs full of some older ones with with like uh, brilliant stars, stuff like that. So yeah, let me know. And oh, we got the Mewtwo. Mewtwo has been pulled, and I didn't care about that card. <clears throat> we got the Mewtwo, everybody. Mewtwo has been pulled. Ninety dollar Mewtwo right there. That paid for the opening, everybody. We got our money back on this opening and some. What's up? That's why I'm telling you, one card. Just one card. Mewtwo V-Star got an awesome Mewtwo doing some Kamehameha kind of action going on. I'm pretty sure it's like Cybolt, something like that. I guess a Charizard in the background, which also reflects the uh, promo Charizard of him fighting the Mewtwo in the background. So it's a reflection card. So, yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. What we go? What, what, what's up with that? What's up, Mewtwo? Oh, my God. <laughs> At this rate, if I just pull the gear, the, the uh, yeah, the Giratina. If I just pull the Giratina and uh, pull that Dialga, man. After that, it's like, well, what else is there to pull? Because we've almost, we've almost got all the big bangers. 
We really do. It would come to a point where it's like, I think it'd be really fun if I did like a, a continuous live stream until I finished it after I got to a certain point. Like I said, uh, maybe if I get all the golds, um, I'll do that as soon as I, if as soon as I get all the goals, I'll do like a continuous live stream and try and finish it. And it's a bidi bead. All right, that'd be fun. That'd be very fun. I mean, I wouldn't know how, what kind of time it would be. You know, I gotta gotta make sure I gotta work around Poke Rev's craziness. I don't want to do it on his uh, Vintage Tuesday or something crazy like that. You know, I don't want to. No one would come to mind. Everybody just watch Poke Rev. All right, here we go. We are on the third pack of this third box. Hmm. Does it sound like something lucky there? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, never mind. It's the fourth box. Okay, never mind. Anyways, we got rare candy. We got one more box after this. And one more pack. Come down. Okay, Whalmer. We got Pokeball. Oh, we got Duskull. I didn't have that Duskull yet. I almost... I think I almost have all of the pieces. And... Zero Aura. That's alright. I got Duskull. I didn't have Duskull. I will take it. I will take it. It might be the last of the, uh, the nine card piece to complete this set. Of the nine cards of weakness. I don't know. Yeah, if you, there's nine cards in the set. If you put them all, full, all nine together, they make a big, huge picture with Pokemon in it. Got Pikachu. I think I'm actually missing Absol at the moment right now. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. We still need to pull the Absol. Then I think I'll have the whole, all the pieces. But yeah, there's nine cards in here. If you put them all together, then they actually make a full picture. Kind of cool. One of these days. Okay. We got Aaron. Real. Oh, we got a Roxanne. What's up, Red Roxanne? And. Oh, we got ourselves a nice little energy as well. A fi uh, nice little, what do you call it? I would call it a secret energy, but it's textured. It's a textured energy. And it's dark. That was a pack. That was a box. We got the Mewtwo. We got the Dust School. We got an energy. We got a Roxanne. Woo! That was a $20 well worth it. All right. Roxanne. My homegirl right here, I do believe this is like a $10 to $15 card. It'll probably chill right there. Roxanne is heavily played. It's an interesting art, at least in my opinion. I like it. I run Roxanne's in my decks, so I like it. Anyway, we're on the last one. Last box. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember what was in the uh, Reggie Licky box, but I can almost bet you this, this one won. But you know what? You should go check out that Wednesday, last Wednesday's video anyway. Check out any other videos. I did a live on Crown Zen. That was fun. You know, I mean, I would like to do my lives and have more people interact. So, that, so if, uh, yeah, definitely uh, you should subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. So when, you, I, when I notify, I can notify you when I do go, when I am going to go live and all that other good stuff, you know. All that other good stuff. Reggie Drago. My boy. My homeboy, man. Here you go. There's a code for someone out there. Someone out there will get that code. But I get the Pokemon cards. Anyway, here we go. Crown Zenith. <laughs> Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Four more packs. That's it. No more. Don't forget to check out my Friday video. That's coming up when it gets released. Also, no reason why you should subscribe. Just because it's going to be crazy. Team Up 10s. Who's ready for some Team Up 10s? Man, I don't remember last time I saw those things get opened up. But it's going to happen. We're doing it. We are doing it. I'm excited for it. Mainly because I don't want to do Sword Shield. And I'm excited to do some Sword Shield team up. Chasing after that alternate art. Lottis and Latios. Purloin. And a Panguru. Two Purloins in a row though. Weird. Anyway. Um, three more packs to go. Just three. Alright. Alright. We're having fun. We're almost done. We're almost done. I promise. Skungies. Will we get some gold? At this point. Oh, man. What is going on? That saddens me. It hurts my heart that when I see a card that was in a pack, that was that's damaged. In the middle of the cards, too. That's the weird thing. Like, the rares in the middle of the packs. And we got a Luxray. Okay. I'm okay with that. It's just a Luxray. Just a regular rare. It's all right. It's all right. Two more packs. Nothing out of this box yet. It could surprise us. It's uh, building up the suspense. I can feel it. Maybe. We'll see. And if it doesn't, it don't matter. We, uh, we easily got our monies back absolutely positively. Mewtwo almost paid for the whole opening, so... Woo! It's all matters. It's all matters. My money was well spent. All right. That's the best thing about the set. You can, you can get your money back. Not a lot of sets you can say, oh, I opened it and I got my money back, like, almost consistently. Cherubi! Okay, we got ourselves energy trivial. Miltank! I love it! I love the Miltank! This is new. I love this Miltank. And... 
an absolute okay but look at the cute middle tank uh you know what i'm okay with just pulling this one on this box i love this card look at how cute this middle tank is man look at it. he's a happy cow with a feast man he got some pie got some cheese oh i got some berries right there got some bread is that some honey probably awesome got some soups soup is tasty that, that mute that milk tank is living life right now absolutely anyway <clears throat> last pack we're on it we're on our last pack man like it like it come on subscribe no you want it it's fun i do three videos a day monday wednesday friday one o'clock throw some shorts in there sometimes all that good stuff all that good stuff let's do it wish me some luck for my last pack all right we got a fighting energy okay rescue carrier giraffe rig Ooh, pinkerton tangela foul toy Meowth. that's right Sphinx. energy trivial and oh we got the gold giratina what we got a gold Giratina. Giratina has been pulled. Three goals down. One to go. What? Oh, I don't even care. Oh. Okay. Let me catch my breath. We got one more card left. You never know. Okay, this is Life Heart. Woo! Giratina has been pulled. We got the most expensive card out of the set. We got like the fourth or the second or the third. I think it's the third. I think uh, it goes Arceus and then Mewtwo. So we got the two most expensive cards out of the set. We pulled two Arceus already that are gold. One's going to get seen to PSA. We pulled one Palkia already. We're just missing Dialga. Absolutely insane. We got it. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Keep subscribing. I would appreciate if you did. Keep doing it. You guys are awesome. You guys are pumping me up. You guys are making me want to do videos. I'm getting more and more excited the more and more I do it. Thank you guys so much. Leave some comments below. Tell me how crazy this was or, you know, or anything, you know, in that nature. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from comments and everything else. Thank you guys so much for returning to my channels as always. I'll see you guys on Friday for some team up action. Going to go chase a very expensive Pokemon card. So stay in tune.